Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there. This is Granny Gamester here with your Conan Exiles Beginner's Guide and I am playing on the PlayStation 4 single player and today I'm going to cover the best foods and drinks for healing, hunger, warmth, and cooling. So grab your favorite beverage, pull up a chair. This is your first Conan Exiles cooking class. Yeah, so I have compiled this list based on what I think is the best return for your efforts and how easy the ingredients are to find or make. Now I have also included the more complicated ones, but I will state that uh, when I do list them. So let's get started with healing. Now all religious altars uh, at the very end, the very last altar that you make will offer a feast. And these are good for uh, healing. They have a regen of 17 health points per three seconds, which is pretty good. They last for two hours with, before they spoil in your inventory. They will replenish 40 points of water and they only weigh 0 0.01. So that's pretty good. Now the Feast of Derketo, Mitra, set and yog they also give a bonus effect of stamina regen which is pretty nice and the feast of yabal zog uh, gives the bonus effect of underwater breathing now the feast of ymir uh, has a bonus of warming up but all of these are very complicated to make yeah there's a lot of ingredients and some of the ingredients are even difficult to make and this seems to be true with all the healing foods. So the next one that I found was the best all around was cooked pork feast. Now this cures your hunger 100%. It replenishes your water at 43. Um, its healing is 15 health points uh, every three seconds and it'll last an hour and a half in your inventory before it spoils. Now this also cures hunger without warming up which is great. And uh, you can get this by the Specialist Cooking Book 10. And you find this on the island um, at Drifter's Rest in the jungle. So let me show you where that is. That is right here. And you'll notice there's just a couple of guys there with a bench. And either the recipe book is on the bench or it's on the ground. It's just right there. So that's where you'll find that. And uh, as you can see, we're going to look this up in my cooking stove here and cooked pork feast is actually kind of complicated to make it takes cooked pork rinds which you make on the campfire it has dried berries which you just take berries and put them in the dryer but the mead is a little more complicated mead you you can make in the fermentation barrel and um, it's made from purified water, plant fiber, honey, and a leavening agent. Now the purified water, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. You need to go to your casting table and you need to have made a, um, a glass flask mold. And then uh, you can make the glass flask. But you need to have glass in there as well, which is crystals. Uh, put into the forge will give you glass. So then you can take the glass flask and you can bring them to your alchemist bench. Now you only need an alchemist level one to do this. So you can see over on the top here, he will fill these with water for you. So we're going to pop these glass flasks over there and we're just going to tell him to make 12 and voila, he's filling them full of water for us. So, you know, that's that's the easiest way to do it. You can also, if you don't have a thrall on your alchemist bench, uh, you can take them just to any water source and fill them up. Yeah, you can do that as well. So let's just pop these into here. And um, you can make the purified water. Whoops. I'm sorry, you don't make purified water here, Granny. You make the mead there. You make the purified water at the stove. So, so as you can see, this is a process. Uh, I would not bother with doing this personally uh, for healing. No, uh, I would use the potions. This is way too complicated for me. But if you like cooking, you'll probably enjoy doing this part. So, uh, yeah. Um, next up is uh, the best foods for hunger. 
Now, the best that I found is the Sumerian Feast. Now, this cures hunger 132 points. Yeah, it, it covers water for 37, and it has healing health points of 13 every three seconds. And it also satiates uh, hunger, I mean, yeah, hunger without warming. But it is complicated to make. You need Specialist Cooking 9, found at Liam's Watch. And let me show you where that is on the map. That is right here. And uh, yeah, you can find it right even though on a bench or on the ground, right in the area where he is at his camp. That's where you can find that. And uh, let's take a look at that Sumerian feast here. I can't quite remember what that looks like, so. <laughs> Where are you? It's probably going to be one of these last ones, of course. No, I must have gone by it. Yep, there it is right there. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, it takes dried meat, mushroom stew, and mead. So you have to make the mushroom stew, which is complicated all by itself. And so you know the mead is as well. So that, again, takes time uh, to make. So although it's the very best, unless you like fussing with that and cooking, your next best bet is easy to make. And this is good for early game. And this is fish strips. Now, fish strips, all it takes is appetizing fish, unappetizing fish, savory fish, and exotic fish. Yeah, that's all it takes to make. So if you live near the water and you have plenty of fish traps out there, um, easy peasy. So this gives you, um, it cures hunger at 96 points, which is really very, very good. Um, and it doesn't give you any water regen whatsoever. Um, it does give you some healing points. Now, it gives nine uh, healing points every three seconds, which is better than nothing at all. And it does last an hour in your inventory, which is great. And this also uh, cures your hunger without warming up. And it's found in the beginning stove. You don't even need a thrall um, to, to use this one right away. And uh, the other one is meat strips. And this is also in your beginning stove. And this also uh, is very easy to make. It takes feral flesh and it takes salt. And as we learned before, you can make salt by putting stone in your grinder. And you can also put crystals in. I don't think I mentioned that before, but you can put crystals in your grinding stone to make uh, salt as well. Yeah, very easy. So those two uh, really, really have very good... Um, bonuses to them and uh did i stay let's see how to make yeah the meat strips will give you 79 um healing point or health points um regen your food and or satiate your hunger i should say and it will give seven seven healing points every three seconds as well and this will last 45 minutes in your inventory uh, not as good as, quite as good as the fish strips, um, and it doesn't make you warm. And this, this is also a good one to use if you're not near the water at all. But um, the feral meat is pretty easy to come by, as you all know, and you're probably wondering what to do with that. So those two I would suggest, really, for um, the best uh, cure for hunger. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And of course, my personal favorite is honey jerky. Yeah, I will go for this one a lot. And this is easy to make, I think, anyway. And it cures hunger for 77 points. Uh, it has a health regen of seven health points for every three seconds. And it lasts for an hour and a half in your inventory. And it does not uh, add warmth. But in order to get this in your stove, you do not need to have a... a tier two, three, or four cook on your stove in order to make that. 
and you will find that up here in this top row. And it takes exotic flesh, which you can get from rhinos and any big beast, uh, elephants, etc. And it takes honey, which you need the beehive to do, which is very easy. You can get that in your feet. And again, salt. So it's easy. Uh, I like it for that reason. And um, yeah, and it lasts a good time and it, and it does the job for me. So yeah. So uh, the next is uh, foods for warmth. Yeah, if you're headed up north and you don't have the right gear yet for up north, um, this is the best dish that I found and it's um, chili desert style. And this is a specialist cooking seven and it's found in Muriel's Hope uh, and it's, the, it's at the top of the scaffolding there. So let me show you where that is. That is right here. And you will notice there are, there's a big pair of feet there and then there's scaffolding that goes up to the top of it. That's where you want to go. It's way up to the top, uh, easy to find. And uh, yeah, that's where you get that one. And that cures hunger uh, for 81 points and it lasts 45 minutes in the inventory before spoiling. And it is warming strong. Now it's the only one that I know of that is warming strong. It really warms you up. So uh, great for up north if you don't have the right armor yet and you want to get some black ice or you just want to go up and get a couple of uh, star metal. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the food um, to have on you. And let's see what that takes to make. Let's see if we can find it here. Chili desert style. This is easy to make. It takes feral flesh salt and spice that's it and again you can make uh, spice on the grinding wheel by just putting plant fibers in here and that will give you your spice yep easy peasy now the warming drink that i found is the best um and if you like cooking <laughs> mold brew is the way to go it cures hungers hunger for 12 points and thirst for 41 and it lasts 45 minutes in, in the inventory before it spoils and it warms you up yeah but it is uh, a little complicated I, I would say to make because you have to make the mead to get it and um it's right here and as you can see it takes mead and shroom amanta now i always wondered what you needed to use the shroom amanta for uh, but this is what you do um, for the mold brew yeah it's very good for that so uh yeah and um drinks that will not cool you down uh for northern areas now if you find yourself up there and you get thirsty you don't want to drink water because it cools you down and that can be a problem if you're already cold and you don't have the right armor on so the thing to make is in your fluid press yeah all you need to do is pop in some highland berries and as you can see right now, it's crafting the Highland berry pulp, desert berry pulp. Yeah. And this is wonderful because uh, it, it um, you can drink it. It'll fill your, you know, your water. It'll give you water, but it won't cool you down. So very, very handy. And you can also put Highland berries in there. And Highland berries will do the th same thing for you. So very, very handy. If you have a warming food, but you don't want to drink water, like I said, that, that will cool you down. Bring this with you and that'll take care of that. So the next one is uh, cooling foods for when you're going up into the volcano, which is very, very hot. Um, the only thing that I know of that will cool you down is if you're getting hot and even in the desert sometimes you can get hot but usually you can remove armor or something to help out with that but in the volcano not so but the Davari bug soup which you get with specialist cooking one and I'll show you where you get that you get that at the summoning place which is right here I don't have it lit up right now but it's right here right in this area and um, you will find it uh, in the back on the, as you enter the summoning place, it'll be on your left side on the ground, um, up on top. And it also includes a specialist cooking six. So you get those two in there for that. So uh, yeah, this um, cures uh, hunger 
for 55 points, which is great. It's not bad, but it quenches thirst for 14 points. And it has a health regen of four health points every three seconds. And it lasts for 45 minutes in your inventory before spoiling. Yeah, but it does it does cool you down. So that's the only food, like I said, I know of that will do that. Now, as far as drinks go, the best thing you can do is get ice. Yeah, easy peasy. You can eat ice to cool yourself down in the volcano. Very, very easy. You can uh, also get purified water. That will do the same thing. And that also quenches your thirst for 35 points. And then the other thing, which is easy to get, is iced tea. You don't have to make this really because you can purchase this for one silver coin in Supermaru or the volcano has a merchant that goes around selling it to you. So that's also uh, pretty easy. And that uh, quenches your thirst for 41 points. Yeah. So yeah, Conan Exiles Cooking Guide 101. <laughs> Yeah, pretty easy, guys. And uh, like I said, most of these are pretty easy to make and do. And I researched a lot on these. Now, there are some other great foods out there. And I'm sure um, all of you who are experienced players have your favorite. And so if you do, please let me know in the comments and why that's your favorite. And uh, yeah, I may have missed some things. So yeah. Well, all right, guys, if you found this helpful and you liked, please give me the big old like. And if you'd like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit the little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Well, all right, guys, again, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, GG out.